Hey guys, it's Stacy and Dylan with Chapter Chicks, and today I'll be doing my August book haul. First, I'm going to start off with the review copy that I received off of Goodreads from a girl named Deanna. So thank you so much, Deanna, for sending this to me. It is Phoenix Angel, and it's by Amanda Gary and Christy Hall. This is the Shardwell series, book one. And this one is about three best friends who one day develop ter terrifying abilities, and even worse, something deadly has taken an interest in them, but they only want one of them alive. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. It is the series, and I do love the cover. Green Town was having a huge yard sale, so I got a couple of paper bag books for really cheap. I finally got... Uh, book one in the Maximum Ride series, this is Fugitive One, and this is about a girl who is half angel who has to fight against people who are half werewolf. Um, this is by James Patterson. I've heard mixed reviews about this, but they're really cheap, so I figured I would pick them up. So I got book one, which is The Angel Experiment. Two, which is School is Out Forever. And then book three is Saving the World and Other Street Extreme Exports. And then also I got book one in the series that comes after that, which is the Protector series, which is the final warning. So, yay. I think I got all these for like a dollar. Book one in the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd. This is by Heather Brewer, and this one is called Eighth Grade Bites. All summer long, I've been wanting to get Breakfast Journal by Carrie Smith. Um, for me, my son to do, this is my, I can't find mine right now, mine's disappeared, but this is my son's copy. As you can see, he's only done like four pages and it is already wreck, but we've been having a lot of fun doing these. So I think this is a great thing to do with your kids because it's just so much fun. And this is his drip page that he did. If you want a uh, activity to finish out the summer with your kids, Breakfast Journal is a really good thing, but he has no problem with the concept of this journal. He completely gets thinking out of the box, obviously, because it took him no time to destroy this thing. We also had like a parade of authors come in. We had a YA panel of seven authors come through, and then we also had Chris Colfer from Glee come through with his story. So yeah, me and Jessica for the past two weeks has been going to meet all these awesome authors, so it's been amazing. So the first one I'm going to show you is Chris Colfer. And it was insane. There's his signature. He is super nice. We were, me and Jessica got the last two tickets because we couldn't even get to the ticket area to get our tickets. So since we know the bookstore so well, we went to the children's area. And the guy in the children's area who worked there pushed through the crowd and went up and got the last two tickets to see him. So we almost didn't get to meet him, but I was really excited to meet him. He was really sweet. Um, flawless complexion. He looks just like he does in the picture and he's just amazing. We didn't really get to talk to him very long but me and Jessica had some fangirl moments and I'll let her tell those stories on her book haul on Wednesday. But yes, this is his uh, The Land of Stories and The Wishing Spell. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I've heard uh, many good things about it and it's just fairy tales and he actually did write this and it's not just something that he had somebody help him write. So really looking forward to reading this. It was supposed to be a panel of eight authors, but Christine Kettle, she could not show up. And I had to buy Two Truths and a Lie on Amazon because they didn't have this at Joseph Beth. But for some reason, she wasn't able to make it. But I still got the book. And it sounds really good. It's about a girl who childhood has a bunch of mysteries and she's been telling lies her whole life and now she's grown up and she's famous and she's married and the lies that she told as a child might come back and bite her and it has to do with her friend's death that a mystery that surrounds her friend's death that happened when she was little so this looks really good and I'm really looking forward to reading this one even though it's not signed but still it looks really good and then when in the bargain section of the store I found the Knight of Solstice this is LJ Smith's new series this is about a sorceress that has that is the guardian of a secret mirror that is a gateway to a parallel universe of the wild world where legends come to life. But Morgan's betrayed and imprisoned, imprisoned by an evil sorceress. So this is a series, and it looks really good. And I love L.J. Smith's writing, so this is not going to disappoint. And look how pretty the cover is. And then there's the second one right there. Third, um, Tensions of Opposite by Christina McBride off of Amazon and. I was very disappointed to find that I had a library copy come in, but I was going to get it signed anyways, but my son took this out of my book bag before the signing, so when I was at the signing, I'm like, I'm missing one, so then I had to buy it again, Woo, again. This is about a girl that disappeared two years ago, and her friend Tessa has put her life on hold, waiting for her, but trying to find out what happened to her best friend, and then one day the telephone rings, and it's from her best friend, she's alive, so you get to find out what happened with all of that. And there's her signature. Yes, this that panel of eight authors was amazing. They were so nice. 
Yes, love them all. And then Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan is a book that I already owned. I didn't have to buy for the signing. But there is her signature. And it's so funny. She kept asking me if I liked bad or good characters. And I went into this big discussion about how I like characters that have uh, that are bad but have goodness that are buried down in deep as well. And she was just looking at me. She just wanted to know how to sign the book. So she put team of underlying goodness instead of team good, team team dark, team light. Which I thought was funny. That she just wanted a simple answer and I was going on and on and on. I also got a signed copy to give away in our big giveaway. So if you wanted a signed copy of Demon's Lexicon, keep a look out for that giveaway. Shattered Summer, which is about a girl who loves to tell ghost stories, but then one day she has a ghost story, a real life ghost story, fall right in her lap where there's this kid named Elijah who disappeared and she starts seeing his ghost. So yeah, this looks really interesting and there's her signature. Girl of Fire and Thorns. This is by Ray Carson. And this sounds really good. It's also a series. It's about a princess who is a secret wife of a king of a country who is in turmoil. She must go on the mission to save the country. There's also dark forces that are after her. Oh my gosh, it sounds really good. And I can't wait to get to this one. Um, and there's her signature. 16 by Julie Carr. Um, this is about a girl where she lives in, it's kind of like a dystopian kind of sounding like. It's every, at the girl, every girl at the age of 16 gets a 16 tattoo on her wrist that it says it's for the protection, but after she turns 16, her world, her world is destroyed as she discovers nothing about her life is true and the boy helps her discover things in her past. So, there's her signature. I begged the author to give me this copy. She actually gave me this copy as a, a free copy, so I was really glad about that since I had to buy The Tension of Opposites again since Dylan took it out of my bag, but yeah. She saved me a bit of money there. Claire de Lune by Christine Johnson. This is about a girl who, on her 16th birthday, dis discovers that she is werewolf royalty. Then she has, there's forbidden love in it. She's forced to make choices that will change her life forever. This is a series. And these are the new covers. So I've been wanting to read this one for a while, but never picked it up. And there's the signature. My favorite author of the pa panel, which was Julie Kagawa, she actually knew who we were when we went up to, for her to sign her books. I loved her. She was hilarious. She was so nice. Oh, she's my favorite. But I already had uh, book one through three, so I'm not going to show you those guys, those again signed. But I did pick up the Iron Knight, and then there's her signature, and I love this. I love the Iron Face series, and she was just sweet as can be. Love her. More rules. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting this book forever. This is the first one in the Blood of Eden series. Oh, I've been wanting this one since January. I've been waiting forever to get this book. Vampires are taking over the world, and they use they keep humans as pets. And there's a group of rogue vamp, a rogue human. There's uh, the diseased uh, vampires that are wild. Oh my gosh, I've heard nothing but ghost things about these, and I cannot wait to see what she does with vampires. She did awesome with fairies, and I loved her. I've been wanting this book forever. I cannot wait to read it. All the books I got, guys, I hope you liked it. I know it was a little bit of all over the place, but there's a lot of people in here right now. <laughs> Anyways, I also got a lot of swag that will be given away when we do that big contest. It was It's the big 5,000 contest. I don't know when we're going to announce it, but there's a bunch of prize packages. But we'll probably give some of this away during that. I got some Vespertine bookmarks. That was um, the Sandra Mitchell book, that it, the other Sandra Mitchell book I didn't get. And then Christina McBride's new book, which is One Moment, that's supposed to be it's supposed to be a tearjerker. And then here's Sarah Reese Brennan's new book, which is Unspoken. And this looks really good. I can't wait for this to come out. And that YA panel, I think, is still pouring. So if you want to look around to see if it comes near your area, I would, because they are a great group of girls. I mean, there was probably only about 30 people there, but the signing still took three hours because they stopped and talked to everybody. They were an awesome group of girls. They're lovely. Love them. And this is Stacey with Chapter Chicks, and I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Bye.